for the CBC. Hi, I'm Audrey. I'm on your short day. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. That's good to hear. Um, Joe, I'm here to change the wound dressing on your abdomen. But before we proceed, can I just confirm what's your name and date of birth as a counter check in your ID bank, please? Of course. Joe Clinton, 1 1 1994. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And your MRN is 123456 X. Perfect. Thank you very much. Also, can I check, Joe? Do you have any allergy to latex food, drugs, or anything that we should know of? Yes, I'm allergic to latex. Thank you for confirming. It's already written here in your wound care treatment chart that you're allergic to latex, and I will ensure that I will use latex free material to make. Okay, thank you. Joel, and um, before we proceed, I just wanted to assess your wound dressing if that's okay. Yes, that's okay. Lovely. So Joe, before we proceed, can I just ask, are you in any sort of pain or are you comfortable at all? Um, I'm okay. You're Not okay. too bad. Good. Okay. Um, and you're happy for me to proceed because this may take probably around 12 to 15 minutes. So we wanted to make sure you're as comfortable as we can before we proceed. Is that okay? That's all right. Perfect. So um, also what I wanted to do is just to have a look through of what the dressing looks like. I can see that there is a little stripe through on the dressing itself. The surrounding, it doesn't look red. I'm not seeing any oozing or exudates as well. And the dressing looks intact, but we will still change it since there's a strike through on the um, dressing. At the moment, do you feel any tenderness or pain from no. your um, wound dressing or from the wound side itself? No, not at all. Perfect. So um, when we remove the dressing, we'll be able to see how if there's any stitches or any clips or any sutures, and then we will be able to see the condition of the floor of the wound itself. Okay? Okay. So I will keep asking you during the procedure if you're comfortable or if you're in any pain, and then at any point, if ever, you cannot tolerate it, just let us know. Okay? I will. Perfect. Right, so what I'm gonna do is, if ever there would be a little like exudates coming out from the wound, I might need to collect a little sample, um, a wound sample to send to pathology um, in a properly labeled um, container as well, just to see if there's anything growing in there, just to make sure that we are preventing any possible infection, okay? Okay. Perfect, right. I will be preparing my materials and just let me know if you need anything as you have them over. Okay. Okay, thank you. Perfect. You're very welcome. After going to the patient, I will gel my hands using the seven steps of World Health Organization. Palm to palm, back of the hands, back of the hands, interlace, interlock, interlock, thumb, thumb, fingertips in rotational motion, wrist, wrist, and I will let it air dry. Then I will put on my apron and now that I've got my gloves and my apron, I'm ready to clean my trolley, opening my vanilla wipes. And my granel wipes are all indated intact, and I'm happy to use it. And I'm gonna clean it from farthest to nearest using S shaped motion, making sure that I have covered everything. Discard that, and I will get another one. Open it, then clean this other side where I will put my material because I don't have a separate trolley that we normally use. So I'll let it air dry for um, 30 seconds and we have cleaned it for 30 seconds as well. And while that's air drying, I'm going to remove my PPE and I will shove my hands again. checking if all my materials are here. I will need an upside dressing that I have seen in my wound care treatment chart. It's intact and in date and it's expiring is in 2026. And I've got my Glenel wipes to clean my uh, normal saline solution to clean the wound which is intact and in date and I'm happy to use that. 
and my normal saline solution, uh, which is inductual precipitate and end date um, expiring in 2024, so I'm happy to use that. I would need um, a sterile fast dressing, which is impact and date, uh, expired in 2024, and I'm happy to use that. And just in case that I would need it, I'm going to prepare an extra sterile gloves, um, just in case that I would need it. Now, I'm going to gel my hands again. Let it air dry for 30 seconds. So I'm ready to bring my trolley to the patient's bedside, disturbing the curtains as little as possible. Hi, Joe, I'm back. How are you doing? I'm good. Perfect. So what I'm going to be doing is um, I've got everything that I need here, and then we'll start, okay? Okay. Lovely. Just a tip, when you open your sterile pack, it would be easier if you would open them completely, just touching the edges, so you will have spaces where to put your materials. So you have to put your materials strategically, so when you open your gloves, your upside, you should put it on one side, on that side, on that side, so it will pack. And since I'm wearing my apron already, I'm gonna be discarding the apron. And I uh, will be getting this waste bag, just touching the edges and putting my hand inside. And this will be my sterile hand for me to be able to fix my sterile peel. So Joe, I've got my materials quite ready. Um, before we proceed, I just wanted to remove the dressing on your abdomen as well, and I want to assess how your wound is looking like. Will you be able to um, open up your top um, part for me so I can quickly access it? I will ensure that the blankets are on top of you at the bottom to still maintain the privacy. Is that okay? Of course. Perfect. Thank you. So before I clean the wounds, I will designate my right hand as the clean hands and my left hand as the dirty hands, which will be cleaning the abdominal wound of the patient. So I will get this one gauze. And then I will clean it with one stroke and discard until it's peaceably clean. Clean, discard. How are we doing, Joe? 
I'm good. Good. This will just take another couple of minutes and it should be okay, all right? Okay. Now that it's clean before I put on the dressing, I just want to measure as well um, the wound on your abdomen, okay? Okay. So since I've already cleaned up, I'm happy to use both my hands. So I can see that there's about three centimeters in length and about three centimeters or two centimeters in width. So I will, do I will be documenting that in your chart as well, that I have cleaned your wound using the ANCT and with that measurement. dressing because as we have checked earlier you have a latex allergy but we used um, a latex free all the meals I've used are latex free and the upside dressing as prescribed in your wound care treatment chart um, I will be documenting that I have cleaned your wounds using ANCT we use a normal saline solution to clean it and we use an upside dressing and that the um, characteristics of your wounds it has dry strike through on the dressing but it's pain, no tenderness on the wound itself, and you were in no pain before we started and during um, changing the dressing as well. Is there anything else that I can help you with? No, I'm okay, thank you. Perfect, and you're comfortable um, with how you are sitting at the moment? Yes, I'm very comfortable. Perfect, thank you. So thank you so much for cooperating, Joe, and just do let me know if you have any questions at all, okay? Okay. Perfect, and I will. I will clean my trolley so that it's ready for next use. 